Hello! Today we will be discussing how to set up a scale, as well as its types and parameters using iRev. In our previous video, we covered how to connect to iRev, so in this video, we will assume that you are already connected to a 920i. As you can see, based on the hardware configuration, I have a single channel A to D in slot 1. If you need to add additional hardware to match what is in your indicator, you would do so by either right-clicking on one of the slots to select a piece of hardware, or we can drag one of the options from the card types box down to the hardware setup area. For this demonstration, we will set up a 120,000 pound truck scale with a zero track band for zeroing off debris that may accumulate on the scale. To start, we will go to System Parameters on the left side, click it, and then click on Scales. The screen will change so that you can see the scale parameters. Since we do not have a scale yet, we will now assign the single channel A to D in slot 1 to scale number 1. Double click the word scale 1 and it opens up another window. We can see that our channel 1 A to D is now available to be selected for scale 1. If we had a different scale type we wanted to set up, we would do it here, but we would need any prerequisite parameters configured before we could assign a scale to it. In other words, if I select Serial Ports, there will be nothing available, as I did not set up any serial ports to act as serial scale inputs. So we will go back to A to D channels. Select A to D channel 1 and click the arrow. This assigns the A to D in slot 1 to our scale 1. We will now hit OK. Now that we have a scale set up, you will notice that additional parameters have become available. There are several tabs available to us, General, formatting, filtering, calibration, and maintenance. Calibration and maintenance will be populated upon an upload from an indicator, but since we are just setting up a scale, we will ignore those tabs for now. First, we will set up our scale to be 120,000 pounds, counting by 20. We will change the grads to 6,000, then go to the formatting tab to change the display divisions to 2D, and the decimal point to a fixed zero, while leaving the units at pounds. Since we are using a truck scale, we're also going to go into the filtering menu and add some filtering to compensate for the vibrations created by the truck as well as other outside forces. So we will set our three stage filter at 16, 8, and 8. If more filtering is needed, it can be added through the front panel later. In the event that we get some accumulation on the scale, we will set up a zero track band. This allows the scale to zero off accumulation without the need for human intervention. This is a useful feature in areas where snow or other matter accumulates, slowly adding weight to the scale. So we will go back to the general tab, set a zero track band of two divisions, allowing the scale to zero off up to 40 pounds. Now to get this information into the indicator, we will go to communications, and select Download Configuration. Since we only set up a scale in its parameters, we will select the standard configuration checkbox, and then hit Begin. Now that it has successfully downloaded, we have a scale set up and ready to calibrate and use. This has been a demonstration of setting up scales using iRev. Thank you for your time.